You know, for example, if they're a person who likes to wear hats, like this next speaker, she loves her hats. But I tell you what, it's so interesting to learn as well that she is from an incredibly scientific background herself. I am delighted and honored to be able to introduce to you today one of your favorites and mine. It's, well, she's also a pharmacist. That's what is so amazing to me. It's Lee Jean Fung. She's a pharmacist by profession and a certified laughter yoga teacher. And she is just wonderful. She is the founder of the Johu Bauru Happy and Joyous Club and their main activities on laughter yoga, clowning, drum circle, happy, joyous events. They make so much contribution across this movement. It's amazing. She organized the first Malaysian laughter yoga conference in 2016 with delegates from more than 15 countries. She's organized laughter workshops with the Rotarians, with Toastmasters, with Lions, with schools, universities, hospitals, and many other government and non-governmental organizations. And she was awarded the Iskandar the Malaysian Social Hero Award in 2016 and she has free community online laughter yoga workshops and all of that during the pandemic times. It's my honor and privilege to welcome with laughter Lee Jean Fung. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you Toby for this uh, uh, overwhelming <laughs> introduction of me. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm from Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club, and I am very grateful uh, to Dr. Madan Kataria and Maduri for the gift of laughter yoga, and of course to his uh, dream team for making this conference a uh, reality, and today is day two. So many awesome, fantastic speakers, presenters, uh, uh, not uh, excluding Tobe as the, uh, <laughs> she's a super woman. Uh, uh, yes, and yes, John Chen, we are so tiny compared with your beat association and there's so much to learn from you. <laughs> and, but my topic here now is uh, how to inspire uh, laughter leaders uh, to serve the community. Uh, let me share my screen. Is it okay? Can you see my screen? <laughs> yes. Ah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Inspiring laughter yoga leaders to serve the community. And I'm also very grateful to all members of Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club. Some of them are here. In fact, quite a number of them are here, even though now it is about 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. And I see there are 228 uh, delegates here. We call you delegates. Yeah. Um, a little history about myself. Uh, I was trained as a laughter yoga teacher in Melbourne when I was there for the Australian uh, conference organized by MERV at, in 2008. And uh, that was another story of how I got a, uh, certified, certified. I was supposed to go for the Certified Laughter Yoga Leader Program, but because of some incidences, I landed up to be a Certified Laughter Yoga Teacher. Greetings from Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club. See, we are mainly ladies. In fact, in this picture, we are all ladies. We used to meet together. And this was taken uh, two years back during the Diva Valley or Diwali celebration. And uh, it is at our fun center. We are very fortunate to have a fun center where we used to have our activities and the, our plannings are all there. Today, I call up some of the members, the leaders and the teacher to share with us what inspired them to serve the community. And Bachan Sen, uh, he is a laughter ambassador and also a certified laughter yoga teacher. He said that uh, to meet new people, develop skills, helping others develop and enhance self, feel good, desire to give back to the community. And this inspired him to serve more to the community. Yeah, I'm talking about social uh, club. 
like what John Chen in Taiwan said, non-profit organization. So yesterday, Murph was talking about business and there are a few other presenters also are, are talking about the business value of it. But what I'm going to talk about here is serving the community. That means we are non-profit organization. And we have a Pauline. Pauline, newly certified uh, ambassadors also. Uh, he, he said, she said, helping others to laugh more and to understand the benefits of laughter. This inspired her. An opportunity to share laughter easily, resource for solving problems, enhancing relationships, and help both, uh, not only both, or triple uh, in physical, emotional, and mental health. Doreen, I'm sure some of you are very familiar with her. She's a globe trotter during this pandemic time and all the Zoom laughter. Uh, she said that she was inspired by her teacher and uh, to share more to community spreading laughter is a joy, believing in sharing goodness, making new friends, exchanging new ideas. Everyone in the community will always have something good to share. And Esther Smalin, <laughs> she, she was one of our past president. We also have a parliamentary type of election every two years. And every year we have our annual general meeting because our club uh, is uh, registered with the Registrar of Society Malaysia. So Esther said that the theory and techniques picked up during the leadership uh, program inspire her. The practical application and the spontaneous, contagious, joyful responses by the participant really spur her on more to serve the community. We chain our favorite Zoom master. <laughs> She diligently run the Zoom uh, laughter every day with the help of the laughter leaders uh, since March 2020. And that is, I think, about five or 600 days <laughs> from now. She said that she's a uh, few happy and seen others happy. And personal development, empowering others, ability to serve, share, and connect with people. This spur her on to really contribute to the community. Prima Lata. Oh, she's another wonderful lady, uh, our first Malaysia laughing champion. And she had just translated the Certified Laughter Yoga Leader Manual to our national language, that is uh, Bahasa Malaysia. And uh, once proofreading is over, uh, we will have a mini ceremony to pass the book to Dr. Madan Kataria to Laughter Yoga University. And she said that uh, laughter or laughter yoga per se is effective and accessible tool with zero cost. The effectiveness of laughter yoga inspire her to ensure that the community is aware of this technique and uses it to live to the best version of themselves. And she wants to bring joy, happiness and the inner strength to her patients because she is an occupational therapist. Yeah. And... Who else? Rashwin. <laughs> Rashwin, uh, Rashwin uh, was certified as a laughter yoga leader uh, less than a year ago. And uh, she said passion, passion, uh, willpower to motivate and heal herself and others. And of course, the inner spirit of laughter. And uh, Rashwin is with cerebral palsy since very young. And laughter, I have seen great growth in her these few months. She blossom, blossom, and she runs her daily Zoom laughter together with Bachan. Yeah. Before that was uh, with, with uh, uh, yeah, she changes uh, her partner uh, of running that. that. Uh, Tara, Tara, <laughs> another, uh, you know, he was the organizing chair for our Mega Laughter Malaysia at the beginning of this year. He's from Kuala Lumpur and what inspired him to serve the community is that especially during this COVID-19 period, effective stress reduction of laughter inspired him to facilitate laughter to engineers at his workplace and networking definitely and it's cost free. And we have Margaret, uh, Margaret Fu and a member of us, the Certified Laughter Yoga Leader. Again, talking about pandemic time, people find it hard to laugh and laughter connects and happiness is lost and found. We help others to connect with each other across culture because uh, it is non-religious, non-political, you know, and it builds trust, confidence, and camaraderie as benefits of laughter slowly uh, helps and heal. Sarah, Sarah from Singapore. 
She's also our member. Uh, she said, who inspired her to serve the community? Our founder, Dr. Madan Kataria, and she mentioned my name. <laughs> and you could feel their joy. This joy inspired me to uh, inspire her to act and build and grow from a small team now to serve the community, especially in Singapore. Now she is one of the uh, laughter driver in Singapore. Continuous learning from our mentors and having breakthrough by challenging ourselves. And Siu Mei, one of our past president, she was also inspired by her mentor who set an example for her to move forward. So inspiration comes from so many areas. It can be external and internal. Just want to quote uh, Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club as an example. Uh, started in 2008 when I came back from Melbourne uh, with, with uh, this certificate <laughs> as a certified laughter yoga teacher, gathered some friends and we registered. And that was the year that I started the first certified laughter yoga leader training as well. Register with the ROS means Registrar of Society, uh, where we every year we have to submit our uh, financial reports and also uh, minutes and updates. And anyone here can assess to see uh, our records. Main activities with four elements of joy. It is not called like uh, laughter yoga, Johor Bahru or Malaysia, because at that time when we want to register this uh, club, uh, the issue of yoga is very sensitive in Malaysia. So we were not able to get the name that we want. That's why we ended up with Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club. Blessing in this, guys, because we can practice more than laughter yoga in this club. Four elements of joy we practice, like uh, Tobe mentioned, we have laughter yoga as our main activity with clowning, drum circle, dancing, singing, creative art, and so all the four elements of joy is there. Activities with other NGOs means non-governmental organization and governmental organizations. And every two years, we have a new executive committee uh, members board being elected by the members. Today, the last ESCO meeting we had, uh, we had uh, 199 members, Chinese, Malay, Indian, Eurasian. So uh, many of us are trilingual or bilingual. Average age, oh dear, 64. <laughs> Oldest, 91, youngest, 25. Just now I saw in the chat box, somebody was asking John also uh, how to attract the newer, me uh, newer members to the club. Uh, this is one of the challenge uh, that we have, la, one of the challenges that we have. Uh, most of us are in our 60s and the average age, uh, 64. So we need new blood. Uh, but again, for a social club, uh, most of us are retired, so we have more time to contribute and to give service to the community. Oh, gender, 4% male, 96% female. Where are the males? <laughs> uh, so this is acceptance. Lah. Uh, whoever come, we just accept. Certified laughter yoga leaders within these 199 members, uh, 117 are uh, laughter yoga leaders, that's 59%. And 22 laughter ambassadors, 11% of our membership are laughter ambassadors because they really serve the community. Ours is a social club, whatever we do, whatever activities that we uh, take on is for the community and of course for ourselves, the members, because one of the uh, Constitution, uh, we do have constitution and we have to take care of our members. This is our constitution's objective and purpose of the club. To carry out social recreational activities that deliver more joy for the members and community. To create public awareness and practices for a happy, joyous lifestyle inclusive of good health and world peace. Organize health seminars and to care for members' general welfare. And to work hand in hand with other registered uh, uh, non-governmental organization uh, with the same interest. Uh, okay, uh, we are talking about laughter yoga leaders. Uh, this is the 30th batch that we had and this is for the breast cancer support group. And of course, whenever we have such a uh, training, the fee is a subsidized fee because we want uh, the breast cancer support group of other NGOs to have laughter within their organization or within their club so that 
uh, laughter can benefit more people. Uh, we have various uh, laughter yoga leader training because we believe that leaders are the one who will really spread the goodness of uh, and the benefits of laughter to the mass community. And who are the laughter yoga leaders? Certified Laughter Yoga Leader, I love John Chen's treat <laughs> a certification. I must learn from you, John. <laughs> uh, uh, we have smallest group of two participants. The show must go on. The largest uh, group that we ever had was uh, 34. We went all over Malaysia to do our training. We went to Penang and that's where uh, uh, Dusty Susan joined us from Bangkok and uh, Daisy and Philip from Vietnam came and joined us. And we also went to East Malaysia, which is uh, those days when we were about 10 or years younger. Huh? So we can run around. <laughs> now we hope the younger generation will do the running. Two days program, is it sufficient? Of course, they need to have follow up. Concept no do be is very, very important. And opportunities to grow via activities. We have to have many, many activities in our club to, to let the leaders have the opportunities to serve the community internal club workshops, and we have external activities. So how to sustain sustainability and growth and inspire the laughter leader, or not only laughter leader, the members, because we have another 41% of our members are non-laughter uh, yoga leader, but they know about laughter yoga because most of our activities are on laughter yoga and uh, other things, but laughter yoga is the main thing. The three key points I would like to touch on is inclusion, cooperation, and appreciation. This ICA, I copied from drum circle. You know, whenever there's any drum circle, the drum circle guru will tell us ICA is very important. So we use this and incorporate into the running of our club. Inclusion, announcement of activities to include all opportunities for them to grow anyone even though they are 90 years old uh, the 91 year old lady three years ago she attended our program the certified laughter yoga leader program so she's also a laughter yoga leader this year i think she's about 91 years old uh, then the executive uh, committee members uh, we are the decision maker uh, of course we welcome ideas and also suggestions from members but decision making is still to the board, huh? the board of directors. Huh? Uh, WhatsApp group official and cashier, this is how we do. And the second point, cooperation. Cooperation, we emphasize on brightness of the future. You know, people come and join us. What is, what's in for them? We have to explain to them clearly so they know what they're in for. Even the laughter leader to serve the community, they must know what uh, they are in for. And what, what is it in for them? Now, what is it in for them? Frequent interaction. Executive committee monthly meeting, yes. And uh, now with Zoom, it's so much easier. We have uh, lots of activities for our members. You know, we have the uh, Chinese class, uh, Malay, uh, Malay class coming soon, and we have English class, dancing, uh, and many others, members' activities. And the third point of incorporation is ability to provoke and be provoked. That means we, we encourage members to speak up and to accept feedback. Huh? Very important. Uh, we want our members to, to really speak up and talk. Uh, and teamwork as per project and bigger annual event involves uh, most members. I, okay. And projects with very clear objective because I, I, I was a business woman for almost 30 years before I call it off uh, when I get to know laughter more. So I spend more time on uh, laughter now and also Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club. So we incorporate uh, what we learned during our working time into this club. Appreciation, uh, Dr. Madan also did mention a lot about appreciation uh, during the spiritual retreat. Compliments and appreciation is ongoing. We have annual appreciation day, awards presentation, appreciation for our members and also the community uh, within the community. Uh, involvement, how laughter yoga leaders can be involved and be inspired. Uh, because this is no money matter, right? <laughs> we, whatever uh, tokens of appreciation that organization gave us, we channel it into our club. Uh, so the money after expenses, we channel into the, our, our club. So uh, we do not have a business type, you know, 
unless of course the uh, laughter yoga leaders or teachers they want to have their own uh, uh seminars but it's not under the club lah. that is okay because they are skillful in uh, giving seminars or uh, taking up jobs uh, outside but once they use our club name like Johor Baru Happy Adjust Club, whatever revenue or, or, or profit go into the club. So event, celebration, we have a lot of publicity, both planning. PIC means person in charge. They have opportunity to be person in charge, organizing chair. Uh, and Johor Baru Happy Joyous Club, even now with Zoom, we are uh, quite uh, consistent with celebrating almost every celebration. So... Uh, leaders have chance to be the person in charge. Fellowship outstation retreat that was before the pandemic. Brainstorming and ongoing training, inter-intra organization, and very importantly, on-the-job training. Now, look at pre-COVID time. Pre-COVID time in the year 2019, because uh, our annual report, we have all this uh, information in our annual report. So I pick it up from uh, 2019. 2019, we have uh, almost, I think, uh, how, how many hundred over activities for one year. So that means about nine to 10 activities per month. So you imagine like uh, one week, we have two activities and these are quite major activities sometimes. During COVID time, we are still as busy. <laughs> 80, 80 activities we had. So six to seven activities, so not too bad, lah. Huh? Not too bad, you know. Uh, even during COVID time, with the Zoom, uh, we are able to do so many things. Huh? So we still have activities running on, so that the laughter leaders still can contribute to society because we have uh, free workshops, you know. Uh, yeah, we chain myself and some other leaders. Uh, we gave twenty-two uh, workshop on why do we need to laugh more to organizations, uh, non-profit, even to government. Uh, uh, some give us. Uh, some token of uh, money, so we channel back into our club. How our club survive? Uh, in 2016, we organized the conference. We made some money there, so can sustain us for quite a while. But we also get contributions from organizations uh, which like this. Uh, we were recognized by the Better Malaysia Foundation. So, you know, uh, for two consecutive years, they gave us 5,000 each. 5,000 is about 1,000 over US, but our, our, our club do not need much money. What more now with online uh, activities? So our expenses is very, very, very low. <laughs> uh, yeah, laughter groups within Johor Bahru, we have 10 over groups that was before pre-COVID uh, time. So in the garden, they have a weekly, uh, weekly laughter session for 30 minutes. So we have 10 over groups. Uh. Huh? It's uh, all affiliated with Johor Bahru Happy Joyous Club. World Laughter Day since 2009, we celebrated. And the last two World Laughter Day were celebrated online in Zoom. Uh, yes, and the news, the press love to cover our event. Uh, these are some of the activities where laughter leaders have an opportunity to, to be involved in. And this really inspired them to want to do more. Uh, yes. And uh, Johor Bahru Arts Festival, we participated with them almost every year, and we have laughter sessions there. And the Hospital Pramai, there's a psychiatric hospital, Chinese New Year celebration, they will ask us to do laughter for them. Eh? Uh, of course, in schools and colleges, eh, we also have. Uh, and the city council, uh, this is working along with the government. So even when they want to launch the Visit Malaysia Year, they ask us to go to that, at the immigration point there to do laughter, <laughs> to, to, to cheer the tourists coming in, and also with their staff and all. We have brainstorming session, like I mentioned. Yes, uh, this also spur our, encourage our leaders uh, because they are also leaders in our club to contribute more. And all this, again, like I, would, I would like to say it again, no money is involved. Lah. Ah, we also bring laughter wherever we travel. Like we went to Houston at the temple, we, we laughter that, that we do have uh, laughter t-shirts as well. And Macau every year they will invite us to, for their uh, women's sports festival. And definitely we will bring laughter there. But for the last two years, uh, we were not able to go again because of COVID. 
a, a lot of pliers that, that, that we have. And human empowerment is important to not only for, for serving the community, but also uh, to empower others to be on their feet. We give hope, joy, convenience, and confidence wherever possible. And again, this, I have to take it from somewhere else for this. This four points is not from me, but I find them very good. Uh, so we, we practice giving joy, joy, giving hope, give convenience, and to give confidence. To give confidence is to train out more uh, laughter leaders and to encourage them and give them confidence to go out to serve the community. A lot of them uh, love to serve, but sometimes they just do not know how. So we have ongoing training. And this is a daily Zoom laughter we are talking about, uh, started by Mui Chen. In fact, it was initiated by one of our presidents, uh, former presidents, and Mui Chen took over in March 2020, uh, and it never stopped. And it's also an avenue for our laughter leaders to practice and to move on, to move on. This is the workshop we mentioned, and this year we have another one month plus. We may want to continue, but with a different topic. And Dr. Madan Katare was talking a lot about the, the next wave uh, is the mental health. So we will create a topic related to mental health. And again, we will be calling the NGO, GEO, Hospital, University, Schools Association to arrange with us for the free one hour uh, workshop. Yes, it's quite popular. So hopefully it will run un until next year. Hmm? That's all. Thank you so much uh, for listening to me. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I would like to share one laughter, which is one of my favorite. I call it the turtle in the shell. Huh? Some of you may know turtle in the shell laughter. Huh? Uh, let me close this and do one laughter and I pass it back to Toby. Huh? Uh, Okay, turtle in the shell. Eh? You know, sometimes we get so tight here. No? So you just bring your shoulders both to your ears and then you go eat. <laughs> and then you can unmute yourself and laugh. La. <laughs> and then you uh, release by laughter. Huh, huh, huh. Ha <laughs> 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 You say bagus. Thank you so much, back to Toby. <laughs> Oh, wow. I told you she was amazing. <laughs> oh, just amazing. Just so, 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 so good. Uh, and it's wonderful to see the impact that the social clubs have made. And, you know, many of them, and I saw in the chat, many other gurus were, were laughter yogis were acknowledging specifically the uh, Jahaburu Happy and Joyous Club because you all come and support our clubs. So thank you for jumping onto our Zooms as well. You are amazing and we thank you so much. How lovely to hear there from Li Jing Fung.